up high on the roof of Rochester Cathedral in what looks like a clean-up operation. Our planetary scientists looking for answers about life in outer space. On these large roofs, researchers are collecting debris from the cosmos. The sites are largely undisturbed over many years. Equipped with a special vacuum cleaner, medieval cathedrals like this one are proving to be an ideal hunting ground for researchers on the lookout for cosmic dust. The micrometeorites from roofs usually are very fresh, so you get all the information you need. It's like they fell yesterday. So to me, it's always very surprising to see how fresh they are, because the fresher, the better, the more information you have. And it's these events that hold the key, meteorites and comets that turn into tiny particles on impact with the Earth's atmosphere. Any material gathered on the cathedral roof could provide answers to the origins of our solar system. If successful, it would mean that this place of worship would be a portal to the heavens. More than 100 million of micrometeorites land on Earth every year. While our own solar system is 4.6 billion years old, some of the oldest particles that have been discovered date back 7 billion years. All of the particles that arrive, we think, on the Earth's surface come from the asteroids. So the asteroids, uh, these are typically found on orbits around the Sun between the orbits of Mars and the orbits of Jupiter. And um, so those objects, some of them, are thought to be really old. The research by the School of Physical Sciences of the University of Kent will go on to form the basis of a citizen science-based project. And the hope is that it will spur public interest in space science, as well as provide an answer to what's out there. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Rochester.